It's been four months since frontline nurse Emma Salome Julius left his wife and three-month-old baby to join a team of health workers responding to the coronavirus at an isolation center in Abuja. Due to fear and stigma attached to the pandemic, Julius did not reveal to family the nature of the job he had taken. Weeks later, he contracted the virus and feared for his life. I had fever, I had cough, I had difficulty in breathing, I had diarrhea, I had lost appetite. I could not eat for close to two weeks. By the time I was discharged and I checked my weight, I had shedded over close to 15 kilograms. Julius was paid one month's wages for his service and debated whether to keep the job. Then, two weeks ago, he and many of his colleagues were dismissed after an uprising over and paid allowances at his isolation center. Since then, Julius has been in quarantine without pay in this hotel room as he waits until it's safe to reunite with his family. We feel we were used, infected, and abandoned. For weeks, healthcare employees have been demanding hazard pay and adequate protective equipment. An estimated 1,000 Nigerian health workers have contracted the virus. Officials addressed medics who protested along the streets of Abuja late August. We are fighting this war with you and we will not deny you of your, all your allowances and your benefits. Among the taxi states and uh, Abuja, we will be paying you regularly based on our own agreed allowances. But the National Association of Resident Doctors, NARD, says the government has been insensitive to health workers' issues. I think that the government is so serious and residents have been patient enough and we're giving them enough time to come up with uh, solutions. Strikes by medics are common in the West African nation where healthcare system has been underfunded for years. But experts worry that the strike at this time could affect Nigeria's ability to respond effectively to the coronavirus pandemic. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News Abuja.